All right, Shalom, Shalom, Akim. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Kakadash, Yahweh being the true name of the Heavenly Father, and Yahweh Shai being the true name of the world, ignorantly called Jesus Christ. I'd like to give double honors to my apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well and told me the truth according to the Bible. And Shalom to all the brothers out there that the four corners of the earth. Pushing his word and our richness and sincerity to a few sisters also that listen to the elect. We say Shalom. And um, this is just another quick lesson to the spirit. You know, I'm waking straight out of my sleep. And, um, you know, one of the things that came to my mind is to trust in the Lord. Because um, in this flesh, you know, this flesh will make you want to um, lack faith. Okay? You know, um, whatever going on in your life, it wants you to lack faith. Okay, it wants you, Satan wants you to doubt the Lord, okay? And, you know, um, me personally speaking, and Lord's will, my personal situation can lift up the elect um, to the brothers and sisters. My eyesight is very, very, um, very, very bad. And uh, sometimes, uh, well, majority of the time, I, I, I can't see things, you know? So that sometimes, you know, the flesh will get worried because I can't see um, my way, you know. So, and, you know, your eyes are very important for your body, you know. It keeps you, uh, you know, out of a lot of things because you can see things before they come to you, okay. Um, but unfortunately, my, my eyesight is um, ex extremely bad, but I believe you hope I should will direct me no matter what. Okay, and these scriptures keep us, you know, um, comfort us in these times, man. We got to believe in Yahweh by Shema So I want to read this Psalms 30, um, 34. Okay, and Lord's will I read until you know the Spirit tell me to, you know, end the video. Okay, and Lord's will we get some precepts. This is a Psalm of David when he changes his behavior uh, before uh, Ab 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 Abelech who drove him away, uh, Abimelech, who drove him away, and he departed. It says, I will bless Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, at all times, okay? And that's something that we have to do always, is bless the Lord, all right? Brackley Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, at all times, okay? No matter what situation we're in, okay? Whether it's good or bad, you know, whether you got some type of ailment, always bless the Lord, okay? Because the Lord, the Lord is always, you know, uh, righteous, okay? And he deserves to be praised no matter what, okay? The fact that we're even breathing right now, okay, whether you watch the video, the fact that I'm, I'm breathing right now, you got to thank the Lord, Yahweh B'ashim Shai, okay? So broccoli, Yahweh B'ashim Shai, for that, okay? All right, it says... His praise shall continually be in my mouth, okay? Lord's will be a part of the elect. The Lord's praise, praising Yahweh B'Hashim Yahweh Shai, call Elohim Yahweh B'Hashim Yahweh Shai, okay? What I just said it was in the Hebrew, call, meaning all, Elohim, meaning praises, all right? La, all right, Yahweh B'Hashim Yahweh Shai, meaning to, you know, the Heavenly Father, there was only begotten Son, Okay? That that should be continually continually in our mouths, man. Okay, no matter what situation we go through, okay, uh, always praising the Lord. It says, "My soul shall make her boast in the Lord." Okay, you know, so our boast is that Yahweh Bashim Al Shai is our power. Okay, that He's going to be the one to deliver us. That's what we boast in. Okay, it says, "The humble shall hear thereof and be glad." Okay, so we hear these things, all right, all right, the boasting of the Lord, and it, it makes us happy, okay, all right, the continual praising Yahweh B'Hashim Yahweh Shai, when we hear that from the men that believe, it, it makes us glad, man, okay, it says, oh, magnify Yahweh with me, let us exalt his name together, okay, so, hey, in this this epistle, this um, lesson, to the brothers and sisters that the four corners of the earth, okay? No matter what we go through, okay? No matter what situation we're in, what ailments we have, no matter, no matter what, okay? Let us all magnify 
the name of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai together. Call Holoyim Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Okay? Alright? No matter what. Okay? Because the Lord is worthy to be praised. Okay? We're going to find ourselves in very difficult situations in the coming time. Okay? And no matter what comes of it. Okay? The praise of the Lord has to be continually in our mouths. Okay? It says, verse 4, I sought Yahweh, okay, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. Okay? Hey, I, I, I'll be real with, you, with, the, with the brothers, you know, and the few sisters to listen. When you don't have your full eyesight, you know, things, you know, you don't, you can't see things, okay? And not not just myself, but the brothers also that might have, and the sisters that might have bad eyesight, or or that can't walk, okay, that that can't uh that can't talk, that can't hear, you know, you you're um so to speak dependent most of the time on on certain people, okay, but what happens when those people are not there no more, okay? But guess what? We're seeking after Yahweh by Shema Shai, and the Lord hears us. Okay, the Lord sees us. Okay, and will deliver us out of all of our fears, man. Okay, it's something that we have to constantly read and believe in these times. And read that one more time is very important. Verse four: I sought Yahweh. All right, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, we're seeking the Lord now, while He may be found. Okay, this applies to those that seek the Lord. Okay, the elect of the nation of Israel, Lord's will be a part of that number. Okay, if you're seeking the Lord, you got to believe that he's going to hear you and deliver you from all your fears. All right, because the flesh can get anxious because what it's it's uh, senses have uh, been taken away. Okay. You might be able to uh, hear and feel things, but you might be able to be able to see. You might be able to see, but you might not be able to hear. Okay, you might be able to hear, see, touch, and smell, but not be able to walk. Okay? But guess what? Yahweh Bashim Shai said what? Okay, that he was going to deliver us from all these things, man. Okay? This is what? I'm going to read that again. Verse 4. I sought Yahweh Bashim Shai, and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. They looked, it says, they looked unto him. And their and were and were lightened. Their faces were not ashamed. Okay, all right. So meaning what? The Lord didn't put us to a shame. The Lord is not gonna make us look stupid. Okay, because when we look to Him, okay, when we seek after Him and trust in Him, okay, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. When we trust in the Lord, all right, He's not gonna make us ashamed. Okay, one of my favorite scriptures is that what. Whoever, you know, matter of fact, let's get that. All right. A very comforting scripture. One of my favorite scriptures. Okay. So comforting in the spirit, man. Sarat 2 and 10. And it reads. This is so comforting. It says. Uh, Sarat Ecclesiasticus 2 and 10. Let's see. It says, look at the generations of old and see. Did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded? Another word for being ashamed. Okay. Meaning look stupid. No. Okay. We just read that what I sought the Lord and he heard me. Right. And delivered me out of my troubles. It says what? Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Did any of those individuals uh, that abided in the fear of the Lord and trusted him? Did the Lord forsake them? The answer is no. Okay, or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? Okay, whoever this was despised that called upon the Lord in fear and in faith. All right, in fear and faith of the Lord, man. Okay, all right, no one. Okay, all those that trusted in Yahweh Hashem Shai that abode in his fear that called upon his holy name. Okay, the Lord took care of them. Okay. All right, they believed and trusted in the name of Yahweh Shai, and the Lord is the one that redeemed them, man. Okay, 
and will redeem them in these times. Lord's will will be a part of the elect, man. Okay, that's going to happen to the elect of the nation of Israel. Okay, all right. So to the brothers and sisters that might, you know, be uh, lacking in some type of uh, a physical uh, attribute, rest with me. <laughs> rest with me. <laughs> you know, rest with the brothers, man. Rest with us. All right, and trust in Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Okay, trust in the Lord. No matter what, okay? It says, going back, this is uh, Psalms 34 and 6. This poor man cried, and yet Hawabashim Yahushai heard him and saved him out of all his troubles, okay? All right, the Lord saved him out of all his troubles. And why? It says what? Verse 7, the angel of Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai encamped round about them that fear him and deliver them, okay? All right, so we have the angels protecting us, all right? So even though you might lose some of your senses, okay, certain ailments by going on, things are going on in your life, okay, that are troubling you, the Lord said he's going to save you out of all, all your troubles, and guess what? The angels are right there, man, encamping, surrounding you, protecting you, all right, and Lord's will be a part of your let. They're not only just going to protect you, but they're going to deliver you from all those said troubles. It says, what? Oh, taste and see that Yahweh Bashim Yahushai is good. Blessed is him that trusteth in him. Okay? Blessed is the man that trusteth in him. What? Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Okay? All right? So, A, it's like, uh, um, like, you know, hey, come rest with us, man, okay? Come rest with us, man, because our, our trust is in the Lord, all right? You might be lacking eyesight, okay? You might be lacking whatever, okay? But guess what? The one thing we're not lacking in, Lord's will be a part of your elect, is the faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, Lord's will. You know, we be part of the elect. The Lord is going to deliver us from all of our fears, so continue to trust in the Lord, when the when all else fail when all else fails, always trust in the Lord, no matter what. Okay, so hopefully this is edifying to the elected nation of Israel. I just want to get this in the spirit. Amen. Trust in the Lord with all that heart and lean not into that own understanding. Okay, so with that, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to the heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai Bahashim Kadash. I to give double honors to my apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well and taught me the truth according to the Bible. And shalom to all the brothers out there that the full conserve, pushing this word and our righteousness is sincere. Until next time, to the elect, we say shalom.